Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Serdar Yener and you are watching number three demonstration video using our cake decorating and management software CakeNote. Our subject today is a little bit more complicated, a little bit more sort of uh, glamorous, let's say. And uh, basically, I would like to cover in this video, uh, do something serious like a three-tier cake with some pillar in the center and also creating uh, a surface decor. I'd like to show you how you can create your own surface decoration uh, instantly from the images which you have saved before into your images folder. I'm going to do that in front of you. Uh, let's start. So this is our dashboard, as you remember from the previous videos. I like to show you, normally I click over here, start, but I like to show you another way to start. Uh, you can uh, click one of the lists over here, which is the design list, of course, not the other one, just the designs list. So you can see that previously designed everything over here. That is the, uh, I did the teddy bear on the cake. That is the one here, simple uh, floral cake before in the other videos. And uh, now, uh, instead of starting from dashboard, you start from here by saying that all the items that you have done before, and then add new design. Design. So every single menu item here, I think almost every single menu item here has a, a create new button. So you can just create uh, new items in there and you will see it very soon how I create a new surface decor. All right. So uh, it will take a little bit time to get there in this page. Uh, then uh, as we always start with the construction and uh, I select this time uh, something square. Board square and nine millimeters again, because the three tier cake, I want to have something thick. And uh, let's start from the 450 uh, square isometric. All right, here it is. And then this time I'm not gonna put any price. Uh, I don't worry about price. I wanna design first, then after that, uh, I will give you the option that you can do the pricing or not. So because cake note can be used just only for designing without worry about the prices uh, for a proposal or something, or you can just uh, create your arsenal of uh, decorations, arsenal of uh, uh, designs that you may use it for something else for, for other purposes in the future. All right. Now uh, we have this board there and then let's start right away with the cakes, close the construction and open the cakes. I like to have now 100 height, 250, also square cake. Uh, square. And as you remember, I will select from the names 100 height. While I scrolling page down, you can see the 50, 50, 50, and after that continuously, uh, you uh, suddenly numbers become 75, and you reach the 100, 100, and then uh, I like to have 100 and 250 white cake because as you see that when I place this over here, I have a quite sort of like a nice, comfortable, flat platform over here. Not so uh, not so tight on the side to the board. I like to have a really nice uh, large board and the cake is nice and stable because when you put the legs underneath the board, the cake should be really stable, doesn't drop down. Uh, second tier is, I'm going to select this time, a round cake. Uh, what we said, 50 height and 200 width. So 50 is already started, this is the one. Okay, this one comes here in the center. Now I'm going to take uh, another cake, which is while I'm here, 75 and 150. Where are we? 50, we have to go to 75, the 75 started, 150 is here. That's the one, and I want to put it like this over here. And I like to put a post, a pillar in the center. Pillars are on the, not on the constructions, pillars are on the decorations. Pillars. Okay, the pillars are, comes in different sizes, different thicknesses actually, because they are resizable. You can make it any height you want. So I will take one of these, uh, uh, bolt pillar 150. Let me take, let's try this one, how it looks like. That's not bad. Okay, I take this one here and I make it slightly stretch up and then put this cake over here. Look, I like to recommend you something. While you're doing this kind of complicated kicks and then you will spend quite a bit of time, I would recommend you to save it 
in the middle of the work because it may happen that you have electricity cut out or something like this happen or it's it's been some sort of disturbance you have and then you don't want to lose the whatever you did till now so let's name it this cake and then after that uh, we save it first all right i like to call this one damas cake all right i think c has to be capital is better cake all right and then category wise uh wedding cakes and save all right now what i like to do in this cake i want to cover the uh, surface with the black velvet highlight textile black velvet done I want to put over here a damask design. So this time, as you uh, realized, I'm not putting any sponge or anything in there because I will do all those things later on if I need to. All right. So uh, I like to put a damask design over here. I have to save it now because I make some changes or I just go back to the uh, surface decorations. All right. First of all, I like to show you my image folder. In this image folder, see that it saves that there are unsaved changes. I don't mind, just okay, because I want to keep it the cake however I saved before. I will come back and put the velvet again, doesn't matter. So in image folder, I have several photos, lots of photos actually. So uh, there is some like uh, our, uh, what do you call, like ribbons and some uh, rose uh, kind of uh, texture cloth. And then as you see that different kind of like a, uh, uh, sort of horizontal stripes and there are all this, all this like it been used for the surface decor, but uh, also there is some whatever like a gold uh, color leaves and stuff like that and then drips doesn't matter this is in my folder you may not have these pictures in your folder because you can also create your own things in your folder all right so as you see that there's a damask one and there's a texture here the uh, kind of pattern here i like to use and uh, make sure that when you're sourcing this kind of uh, informations you have to deal with the loyalty free items so don't get caught into the trouble with the copyright items etc so be careful with that all right so now i have this one here uh, i just want to show you the list and actually i have to go to surface decor i go to surface decor and add new surface decor then i end up in this page all right that's the the name of the items we can call this damask one because you may have some other damask designs damask one okay and then uh, I have here uh, categories. Um, well, that is uh, what we have the categories over here. Mm, okay, you see the stencils over here? Because whenever you did the mask, I believe that you're gonna use the stencil uh, the type of uh, kind of method to fill it on. So that is stencils. And then uh, there's also tags and notes and everything you can fill up, but not at this stage, we don't need it. Uh, sort of custom price, let's put some price over here. Per item or per centimeter square. I will put per centimeter square. I want to put like, a, I'm just guessing about $3, right? Because if you, the cake is like a 25 uh, centimeter square, it will have several 10 centimeter squares will be there. And then uh, the cost, it's only cost of realizing. I, I will put just about, uh, let's say, 20 cents. All right. All right. Then uh, select image. You end up in this in this uh, sort of like as I show you, it shows you only the the couple of them first, and you can also uh, actually next 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 you can just see the other ones. I select my damask, and after that select. So it's appeared here, and you have some other controls here. You don't have to worry about it. The default size you can change. It appears like a two hundred millimeter uh, when you call this on the on the on the cake. And you can also change this, also change the dis change the sizes while you're doing it in there. Uh, perspective, another issue that I don't want to touch now. I will talk to bit later. All right. And then there's a opacity you can change here. You can also choose fill or tile. So that is also an issue that I will tell you on the time. All right. So we just we named it, we price it, we categorize it, and then we don't need perspective. Create it. So once you create it, we are at the surface decor list because we choose from the menu surface decor and we have this already ready to go. All right, let's go back to our 
uh, designs and call back our cake so far what we did. All right, it's there. You have to press now edit button because we we're going to work on further. All right. All right, let's start. Board, textile, black, choose, more finer, back, cake, highlight, this time, this is the icon of surface decoration, all right? So when you click that, you have to choose which part you want to, you want to fill. I want to fill the surface decor only at the front. I choose front. There's a tile over here. You can also you say, there's a tile, you can also save the fill. So, but when you have a fill option here, all right, and then go to the stencil here and then fill it on. So what happened is that this is appeared here. You see that the, the, the design, the pattern fill exact to the surface of the cake. It is not that something, a picture goes out of the, the square. It has fit exactly. That's why surface decoration is the is the way to go to do this kind of things all right so uh as you see over here there's no controls it's only opacity all right if i change this one to the tile look what happened all the controls come out now i can change the size of the item i wish to do it about something like that but i don't like the position and i will i move it a little bit up down up and down here i want to get this one in the middle the pattern in the middle. All right, I'm happy with this one. Already good. So on top of the the cake, uh, again I go to this. I like to put a certain color on top. Uh, let's say this, and then sort of like a little bit like that, not so pinkish. Uh, sort of like uh, that. All right, good. I'm happy with that. So now uh, second uh, tier. I like to put different surface decoration this time. Uh, I want to have an indented one. So as you see over here, I have two part, two, de two decorations over here. We will add more items in the, in the future. All right. You see that this little icon here, that is perspective. And that will be, uh, so again, I apologize that I'll let you know later on what does it mean. So I choose now to, f uh, to, f let's choose this one first, everything and go in here. You see that is everything up here on top because we done certain work before that uh, it's possible to fill up completely. So uh, I like to have this pattern black. Choose everything. Choose black. Beautiful. Then uh, the post, I want to have it sort of like uh, uh, keep it white. And this cake also white. As you see, and I'm not using any font. I'm just I'm just dealing with the color and then changing the color here, uh, white. And you see that opacity bar here. I just go a bit more right to make it a little bit more whiter. All right, good. So let's do some ribbons on the board later. On the first cake, ribbon. Uh, Twenty-five mil picture. Black. Nice. Let's look at the satin. Maybe this. No, I like to have metallic. Turn metallic, choose and see how it looks like. Next page. No. Another metallic, silver. That's I like. Keep it like this. And then the corner colors, a little bit more whitish. That's great. And this guy is good for me. I think I like to put a little bit of like, uh, let's put a black satin here, 25 millimeter. Satin black, nice, too thick. Ten millimeter, 
That's nice. Here. That one, uh, I like the coat white. Choose white color here. And then reduce the opacity. Get a bit more whitish. And add the ribbon. Click ribbon. 25 centimeters and white satin. Don't forget, you can just choose the color if you like, but I like to put something like uh, really nicer. The next one, white satin, white. There we go. That's nice. All right. Centralize it and press this button. To make it in the center and I'll save one more time so that's what I'm talking about like there's some changes over here but coming back always all right it's saved all right let's continue to do some more work over here I like to put some flowers all right uh, decorations flowers see uh, at the same time I like to show you you can also create things very quickly if you don't worry about the pricing for just a pro proposal or design or something. All right, now uh, that is the magnolia in white, a little bit of like a burgundy color in center. That is nice. I, I chose this one uh, nice. You know, I just like it. I don't want to have anything too colorful over here. So that one turning uh, a little bit like this, a little bit small. Put over here, a bit bigger. How easy to create some designs like this over here. It's, I'm so excited. I'm really excited about this program because I, I'm so happy to helping a lot of people. I hope that we, they can sort of like, you guys can understand the benefit of it and then like uh, make use of this program. That is good, but I like to have it a bit more front here. All right, good. That goes one more time front. As you, as you see over here, uh, where are we? Let's bring it in the very top. Here we go. That's nice. All right, now look at this. I have this bouquet of flower over here. I like to have another bouquet on top. All right, so what you do is you press holding down shift click 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 copy all right bring this one here and then turn upside down upside down just twist around just like a twist around the other way that works a little bit slower but it works at the end so turn around like this and put it here a bit more smaller all right Let's put it manually here, here, and here. And I like to have one more flower on this part because I like to have a bit more sort of like a sharper edge on the top. All right. Now, if I have to use some leaves over here, I don't want to use just like green leaves over here. I just want to make a black leaves. All right. So just go there here in the leaves. And choose the shape of the leaf, which is, I prefer this one, and a long leaf. And then give it a new color. Go here, and uh, you see that, that part here, the green part. Cover here, and then uh, just choose this. And you see over here, the previously saved some colors combinations over here. I think this one will do a good job, the black and white. Here we go, that's beautiful. So uh, that does really keep the elegancy that not really get something too colorful. All right. So that it turns like this. We do like that. Just highlight the next one together by pressing shift and then press here to make it like a combine one piece. And I like to use it two locations, one here, one there. So I just copy it right away, get ready for this. So this one goes here. That one goes here, turn around a little bit like this, uh, back, disconnect it, 
and then put this one a little bit higher like this I won't have it this way and then both of them go behind very behind all right here we go this one also is actually a combination now this one goes to probably here I think that's nice like that a little bit too big also goes behind all right pull it out a little bit it's too much invisible but uh, I like to have also this this one is more on the front more higher than this so under the group and move this one high this one low that is uh, okay we have to go back again back again highlight back highlight back as you remember I can also do this one here or here it doesn't matter all right so this this buttons you see this one goes one level back this one uh, one uh, one level up one level uh, sort of like a uh, back and this one completely to the front and to the back all right so um now for me this is not finished yet i like to put a little bit more decorations on it here uh highlight everything first and then move a little bit downwards here and see what we have here on this part there is some branches and sticks that's a very very useful thing that to finish off things like with a nice nice touching uh, finishing touch uh, highlight turn around and put this one here kind of like something like this behind maybe a bit more closer Um, I think I have to go a bit down, a bit down, a bit down, also this one down, and this one move a little bit more up or side, like that. All right. Once you get used to it, you can be very, very quick designs with this. So I like to have this one one more time here, and this time put it on top here that's nice beautiful all right uh, so uh, let's see what else we have here that is nice branch so like small uh, what do you call small buds branch or whatever uh, slightly smaller turn around uh, let's see here I think this is nice over here that's balanced nicely and Uh, this flower is to go up. That's it. Yeah. And I think this is missing here. This one, I need to get this branch here one more time. Um, so, I think it is already done. Uh, but uh, what I feel is this red, this red spot is too lonely. So I, I like to use somewhere else another red color here. Uh, I think what we can do, we can put a red ribbon around here. Just to like that. Uh, you see that the numbers here like nine, fr starting from nine millimeter because the board thickness is nine, nine millimeters. So that's why this, this items are more than nine millimeter is not available. So it, it is like a, uh, a smart uh, sort of like a concept of, of cake note. Uh, if you select the 100 height cake, it will be maximum 100 millimeter ribbon. So you can actually cover the whole cake on the side with the ribbon. So uh, then I like to choose maybe sort of like a 5 millimeter and choose some sort of like this color. That's it. I think that's already nice finishing. Now, I like to save one more time and show you one last thing on this video. You want to make it this one a bit more presentable as a is it not for your kitchen work but for your sort of presentation work so all what you have to do you click over here and then 
uh, there is a picture over here, right? Okay, this is a background tool, all right? So you can actually fill up the whole lot with a one full color, the background, all right? Let me show you. Uh, this one and this one. Look at this. The background has changed, but I don't want to do that. Here we go. So we replaced the other background with uh, other things. So uh, what I like to do, this is too much color and too much sort of like a, too strong and too sort of like a strikey. So I like to make it smaller. So first of all, uh, just get this one smaller. All right. This one also smaller. All right. And then uh, maybe this one even more smaller. All right. And move this right or left. And then go down a little bit. Look at that. That is a, actually add a kind of nice, beautiful sort of like finishing touch to that. I think you agree with me. All right. Just go like that. You know, you don't have to like just everywhere. You see, because if you put it behind here, that little lines will be loose. And then so keep it like a white background, but only just make the flowers more shine out. So that is actually a pretty good idea. Okay, guys, it is finished and many more to come, of course. Thank you so much for watching me. Until to my next video, bye for now.